What's up everyone, welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, what we're gonna do is uh, troubleshoot a check brake pad wear sensor uh, problem. You know, the indicator on the dash is saying check brake pad wear. So we're gonna troubleshoot it today. I hope to take you through. I have no idea what's wrong with it, but I'm gonna take you through step by step on things to check and we're gonna figure it out together. So stay tuned. Right, guys so now we're down in the shop uh, I have jacked up the passenger side of the car the passenger side of the car is the only place that the sensors are located for brake pad wear now keep in mind I have a block for safety just in case um, in the front and back I use a six by six block uh, it's a lot more low profile than any uh, one of your jack stands that you would come in contact with so it allows low profile cars to be jacked up like this and kept at a decent height so first things first we're going to start on the um, on the front here this is your brake pad this is your brake pads uh, wear sensor here this blue connector so these two wires go down into your brake pad and they're essentially a loop so once that loop is uh, basically worn away by the brake pad being worn down the circuit will open and so what that will do is trip your light so there's a little uh there's a little wire clip tab whatever you want to call it right here that you need to pry up with maybe a little screwdriver i use a little pick here um, you can just pry it up enough to get it out of the way or you can take it out completely so um, i just kind of pry it up out of the way and kind of wedge my pick in there and then you can pull out the connector. So we're gonna go ahead and unseat the connector here and just make sure this is a great time to check your brake pad wear. So you can see in between here, um, the brake pads look pretty darn good. Um, we're looking, let me see if I can do this all with one hand here, okay. All right, here we go. So here's a nice angle here. So this is your brake pad media. Uh, the actual brake pad part that wears down these metal pieces are your backing plate. So this looks like it's close to uh, close to the wear point, but it's a little suspect. So what we're going to do right now is shoot this sensor with the meter here. We're literally just going to put our meter across the two leads, um, and we're going to see if it is broken. If it's broken, then it's definitely worn down to the point where the brake pads will need to be replaced. So this is obviously the front wheel. So, all right, let's go ahead and shoot this with the meter and check it out. So in order to give you guys the best uh, angle here, I'm trying to do all this. All right, so you wanna check the leads first, place the leads directly together and check your, uh, your resistance. Okay, we're gonna be on ohms. It said, uh, about one ohms resistance. So now I'm going to come over here to my plug. Um, I twisted some safety wire around the end of my uh, end of my lead here to allow me to stab directly down into the connector and hit the exact pin. So these are female pins, and the wire goes directly down in them. So, all right. So we have about a hundred and all right, we have about a hundred and thirty ohms here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call that bad. That's our culprit here. Um, 113, 120. Um, the ohms will just keep rising, I assume, which means that we're basically degraded to the point where uh, it's tripping the computer. So it's safe to say that this uh, brake pad is definitely worn past where it should be, and this is what's giving our check brake pad wear light. So I already know that the brake pads in the back are, uh, are new. I just did those in a previous video, so I don't suspect that that would be part of the problem. So I think these are due for replacement. Um, they're getting close and uh, a high ohms on the sensor is showing that this has definitely had some degradation. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and I will show you what a, um, what a factory uh, sensor, 
uh, what a factory sensor reads so that we'll, I'll show you right here on the camera what a factory sensor reads. All right, guys, so this is a factory sensor, um, brand new. So what we're going to do, obviously this, for those of you that don't know, this little pin sticks down into the brake pad, and then as it wears down, it will basically uh, cut this uh, cut this wire that runs through this molded plastic piece. So now I'm going to go ahead and shoot this for continuity here. I'm going to show you exactly uh, just how much continuity this has from a factory uh, sensor here. Okay, so as you can see here, this is a factory sensor, okay? Factory complete sensor here, and we're reading about four ohms. All right, okay, two ohms, 2.4. We know that our uh, meter tested 1.0 uh, before, so 2.4 ohms is what you should be looking for for a sensor that is good. So the fact that this is uh, degraded and down to 100 or up to 120 ohms of resistance is just on the uh, bitter edge of being 100% cut and so front brake pad replacement. All right guys, I hope you liked the video. Of course, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And if you haven't clicked subscribe already, I know you haven't because 99.4% of you guys aren't subscribed to the channel. So please help me out. Click that subscribe button, ring that bell. I'm coming out with videos all the time. So I hope you stay tuned and we'll see you guys in the next video.